Welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite baby mama bougie vintage and today's video is the swatch video that you guys so requested. Okay, before I got the swatch, before I got the lipsticks, you guys were requesting them. When I got the lipsticks and I was on Instagram live, you guys were like requesting it, but I was pregnant and I was like, eh. Eh. And then when I had the green lipstick on, you guys are like, I know that's Fenty. Are we still getting a video? And then I asked you guys in my last video <laughs> if you wanted me to upload the swatch video, even though I feel like it's played. You guys said, bouge, like, get your life. You already know the answer. So um, I'm here to do that for you. This lipstick I have on right now is Stila, so I'm going to wipe that off. And we're going to get into these swatches. But let me organize them first from lightest to darkest so that... We don't have a bleeding thing going on here. So I just took four minutes organizing them <laughs> to see which colors I should try first and whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I have all 14 colors. They range from really light to really dark. The lightest shade that she released was called Up To No Good. And usually when I'm wearing lipstick, I wear lip liner. I think it's gonna be a lot of work to do lots of lip liner and lots of lip swatches. Should I do lip liner? I don't think I'm gonna do lip liner today. I have to wipe off so many times so it doesn't really make sense to put on lip liner. And we're just gonna swatch these in their raw states. Okay, so no lip liner, just straight up lipstick. So first up, we have Up To No Good. The color is a peach toned color. And if I'm being quite frank, <laughs> let me finish putting it on. Bruh, it's so... I'm not feeling this color, I'm not gonna lie. It's so hard to wear lipstick with no lip liner. I'm sorry, I can't do the no lip liner thing. I have to put on lip liner. <laughs> because I look like Tyrone Bigum's auntie, okay? This is not okay. Not okay, Rihanna. Not okay. Lord have mercy. This is not even the right shade of lip liner to put on with this lipstick, but I don't even care. My initial thoughts on this lipstick is that for my skin tone and darker girl by never in life would I go, you know what, this used to be colors I would wear when I was first getting into makeup, but we're way past that, okay? My thoughts are that I would not wear this with a, a brown lip liner and it would just put a touch of it in the center i'm not feeling this color at all right now okay so this color is called up to no good and it is certainly up to no good on my lips that's what i feel okay <laughs> that's what the fuck i feel this next shade is called single and i actually love this shade Oh, and by the way, the texture of these lipsticks, they're called Mademoiselle, but I find the texture to be more of a satin finish. Now, this one you can more get away without wearing a lip liner, but I'm the kind of girl that needs a lip liner at all times. I don't care what color lipstick I am wearing. It could be black, and I'll still put on a black lip liner. Like, that's just me. I personally love this color. It's like a... It has a peach undertone, but there's a hint of, like... I don't know, it's like a dark peach girl. <laughs> but I actually really like this color. I don't have any qualms with this color. This color is bomb. I would still wear it with a lip liner though because it is bordering on too light for dark skin. Okay? It's bordering that. I'm not gonna lie. If you're, if you're a little bit darker than I am, you might not be able to get away with not wearing a lip liner with this. But like I said, for me, for my personal taste, I like to have a lip liner on at all times. I didn't even finish my thoughts on the texture of the lipstick. I absolutely adore the texture of this lipstick. It's like a hydrating feel. To me, it's not matte though, so I don't know why it's called matte moselle, because it's not matte. Matte is what I just took off. The, the Stila lipstick, the liquid, um, liquid lipstick that dry matte, those are matte lipsticks. Those are not going to come off. But this, if I were to kiss my hand, I'm going to get that. So, in my personal opinion, if it's matte, it does not budge. That being said, I believe the day that I put this lipstick on, on my Instagram Live, and I had been drinking from a straw, or I think I ate, no, I had eaten um, a whole plate of food, like greasy food, not greasy, but like, I ate a plate of food, and the lipstick didn't come off in that sense, like it didn't come off to the point where I needed to do a touch up so it is pretty good for wearing um, or wear time I just 
don't like the fact that it's like it moves. So the next shade I'm going to play with is called Saucy and it is a very bright orange. So this is it right here. It's fluorescent. Okay. It reminds me of like Morange by MAC or even uh, what's that other one? Mandarin. That Mandarin color they have. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm loving this color. Definitely a summer color. The only thing I'm going to say about this color is that I feel like you really have to build it up. It's a little streaky. And once again, these colors are colors that us black girls need to wear some lip liner with because once we get to line once we get to putting it on that top lip, honey. Once we get to putting it on that top lip, it starts to look a little crazy. And it might not look crazy on camera, but in person, I would never leave the house like this. <laughs> like, ever. But the color itself is gorgeous. Definitely gonna make that melanin pop, pop, pop in the summertime. So, <laughs> I would definitely suggest this. And orange usually does help to make the teeth look really bright and white. Uh, I need to go to the dentist, so... I'm not on that list of people that's teeth is looking white and bright with the orange lipstick. I need to get my teeth cleansed next week, okay? But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this color. Loving it. And side notes, please you guys, leave suggestions of videos that you want to see from me just because, um, because I'm so busy and running around. My creative juices ain't flowing, honey. All I'm thinking about is throwing the towel onto my titty. So... <laughs> So help me out in the comment section. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. I'm trying to get work done while being a mom. It's tough shit, okay? This next color is one of my favorites, and it is called Freckle Fiesta. I forgot to mention how much I absolutely adore the chrome packaging. Gorgeous. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite colors in the, um, in the collection. It's just like that ginger, uh, that ginger, cookie color that Too Faced released around Christmas. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a burnt orange. And this is the first color out of these that I feel like you don't need a lip liner with. Definitely a fave. It's opaque. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's gorgeous, honey. That's the one thing I hate about swatch videos. I end up getting, I end up getting lipstick all up in my damn upper lip area, and it's not supposed to be no damn lipstick there. So this next part of this video, I'm gonna show you the three colors in the collection that are really va va boom, and that are really like not everyday colors, but they're colors that you might want to try if you're a popping ass bitch and you want to remind somebody. Okay, <laughs> that's what these next three colors are. So I'm gonna start with one of the boys and it's a bright purple color it's like a lavender lilac -y kind of ting and so again we're in that territory where you probably want a lip liner okay you know what Rih rihanna has a best friend that had a makeup line well, or a lipstick line and i'm wondering if that friend is feeling some type of way <laughs> that miss fancy came and stole the show. Or who knows, maybe she's working behind the scenes at Fenty. Picking colors and shit, you feel me? Who knows? But I remember Rihanna had a friend that had like a, a really pretty purple color lipstick. So this is definitely a statement color. It's really, really uh, bold. You might want to line it with something. Let me put you on game, okay? But it's, yeah, it's a very bold color. I can get away with the chat. I can't speak for nobody else. <laughs> but with purples, I tend to stay away from them because they make your teeth look hella yellow. But it ain't nothing. All you gotta do is add a little purple to it, add a little line. And just like that, you can get away with it. Like, it's not a big deal. Especially if you have really big lips and you wanna wear a loud color like this, wearing a darker lip liner is definitely key for a color like this. But I'm definitely feeling like one of the boys, honey. I'm obsessed with this color. Yadig. Okay, so this next color is called Yadig. And 
I am definitely digging it. It is a blue color. This is one of the colors that was in my dream. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you don't follow me on Twitter. But when, right before Rihanna released the fact that she was releasing so many shades or that she was even releasing lipstick, I had a dream <laughs> that she was releasing a whole bunch of popping ass lipsticks. And in the dream, I was at Sephora and I was swatching them and there was some popping colors. And this was literally one of the colors. And so when they announced that they had 14 colors, it was seven more colors than I had originally dreamed. I dreamt seven colors. And it was dope. Oh my gosh, my child was born on the 7th. I'm a psychic, okay? Like, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this was one of the colors. And let me just put the shit on, because what am I really going on about right now? What happened? What are you doing? I'm filming. What? Swatch video. You like this color? What does it make you feel like? <laughs> That's not funny. She gotta wait a minute, so you might as well. How long are you gonna be? I have. Super calm for how long? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more colors to swatch. How long does it take for color? I have to talk about them, so I don't know. I've been filming for 27 minutes. Go make a freaking. I don't want to give her any more formula. She didn't have any today. She did. She had like fucking. Oh like, no! No, you, you, we. Yeah, I poured out of most that. of that. She, I, I made two portions. It was 120 milliliters. She drank 60. Okay, well, give her some more. That's actually why she shit the bed, isn't it? Oh, she stopped crying. So. <laughs> so you might as well go downstairs and boil the fucking candles. She just drank a whole bottle. She doesn't need food. Right? So she just wants cuddles. I'm um, no. I drank the cuddles. She You're not me. Cuddles. That's why. Yeah, she wants your cuddles. Alright, hurry up with your video. Quick. Babe, I'm trying. Quick. Quick maths. Did I talk about this color before I'm wiping it off? I don't even know. I love the color. Uh, but like I said, it's not an everyday color. And to be honest, you might be able to get away with wearing it without a liner. I hate doing swatch videos because you get stains on your damn lips in the middle of your shits. Now this next color, I don't really need to swatch it because you guys saw it on me in my other video, but if you're new here, hi, how are you? Um, this is Midnight Wasabi. It is the green color, so it's on the list of not everyday colors. And it's a beautiful green. In between a forest green and true green. It has like a mint hint to it, undertone. It's a very earth tone color like super leafy and I actually find the texture of this one is a little different from the other ones um maybe I'm tripping but I can almost say like this one's a little bit more matte than the rest of the colors that I've tried so far maybe because of the color I don't know I just feel like it's a little bit more dry which I prefer for a matte lipstick this one I would actually call it matte even though I know if I were to kiss my hand, it would still come off. And this color, you definitely do not need a liner, but I still wore mine with brown anyway. Alright, we're almost there. Almost done. So this next color, I'm literally just swatching it to get it out the way. It is Candy Venom. It's not a color I would wear. <laughs> it reminds me of Candy Yum Yum from MAC. And my days of wearing bright pink lipstick are very much over and done with. So I literally just bought it for the purpose of obviously doing the video. It has a blue undertone, but it is a bright or a hot pink. Oh, it looks nice on camera, but I feel like only grandmas wear like these colors. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I feel this way about this color. I just, I'm not 100% here for this color. It's personal. It's a personal thing, okay? It's not the color itself. It's just me and the color. You feel me? But yeah, it's very, it's a very berry pink. It's berry, has a blue purplish undertone and it looks awesome on darker skin tones. So it looks obviously really nice on me, but I'm just not really here for it per se. I'm gonna say this and then in the next couple of videos you're gonna see me rocking candy venom. <laughs> But that's just because I'm a fraud, okay? I am fraudulent, so it is what it is. 
but yeah that's just I, I like it on camera I do I like the way it's making me look right now with this look especially maybe it's just the pink eyeshadow that's making me feel like mmm pretty and pink but girl I don't be wearing pink lipstick like this it has to be light pink for me to wear it so we're gonna head back into neutral territory now and I'm going to try on spanked so spanked is really reminding me of Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Ashton a little darker I lied when I said it's giving me Ashton it is not giving me Ashton <laughs> I don't know what this is giving me it's giving me like a Mac color I don't know on camera I like it in the mirror I hate it so I probably I probably would have to mix this with something else to like it which is not really a good sign for me but it's a color that I feel can work with every skin tone so there's that I don't know it's a nice neutral color but yeah I could care less about it you guys are getting the honest tea from me, honey. And now I'm going to try on Shade. Say what's your price. Which is like a brown, I think. Yeah, it's a lovely brown shade. Oh, we love it. It's like a doo-doo brown, child. It's like a doo-doo brown. At this point, because I've tried on so many colors and my makeup's all messed up around my mouth, um, I feel like the color payoff is not... Well, not the payoff. The payoff is fine. The feel like the... I just look a mess. Like, I, I just look a hot-ass mess. Hold on. But this color is actually gorgeous. I feel like with a nice fall look, this lip would be everything and then some. So, I'm 100% here for shoddy, okay? Yes. My lips are starting to be irritated. So, this next shade is called PMS. And it is a very deep, 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 deep. Uh, is this brown? I don't even know. It's like a plum. It's brown. It's a dark brown. Definitely friendly, black, hottie, friendly. Like, <laughs> loving this color. Um, I love wearing dark lips. And this is probably going to be one of my new faves as a dark lip. It's giving me that chocolatey, that dark chocolate. Mmm. Just giving me flavor, honey. Yes, I love it. My hands are a mess. <laughs> they are a mess. But yeah, I'm feeling this color 100%. I recommend it for everybody. And it's also it's another one of those colors that anybody can get away with. But I mean, if you're a friendly black hottie, this one's for you. Like my top. How do people do swatch videos and not have to redo their makeup in between the swatch? Like. Am I alone? Like, I'm, like, drowning my face in powder right now. If I miss the shade, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I'm, I didn't, though, so. Uh, we're gonna go for Madame, which is a bold red color. I was actually surprised they released this because the liquid lipstick that she released, which I love, by the way, is a red, too. The formula on this one is drier, just like the formula, formula on the green one. It's dry. It's nice and matte versus all the other ones have a more creamy feel to them. My child is hungry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I need to hurry up and go feed her because her dad said he doesn't want to give her formula. Oh no, he said she wasn't hungry. He said that she said she wants to cuddle, but it's not the same when he cuddles her. She wants my cuddles. So this is a universal red. Absolutely love it. It has more purple undertones than red, just or than orange, sorry. Just because I'm finding that my teeth still are not looking supremely white. When I have on a orange tone red, my teeth look a little bit more white than they do when the red tone is blue based. Alright, two more colors to go and I can get out of here. Oh my god, what did I just do? I got red lipstick out, okay. I don't know how I'm going to make that, but we're going to have to figure it out. So the two darkest shades that she produced are called Griselda and Clapback. I'm going to do Griselda first. It's a blood red color. So like Diva by MAC or something dark along those lines. Fixed on drama. The formula on this one is also very much, it's, it's a good matte texture. A little drier than the other colors. I'm loving it. 
actually. Oh, I'm having some issues because I've tried on so many different lipsticks that it's not applying how it should because my lips are like rubbed down right now. But um, the color itself is gorgeous. And if you want to look vamp pirish or <laughs> like a bitch this is definitely a good color to go for and it's actually aiding to make my teeth look a little whiter so I'm, I'm loving that last but not least we have clapback a very dark purple matter of fact it's it's like blue it's like a navy blue at this point we're just looking at the color not the application because I can't really apply it properly <laughs> and my lips are definitely done for you never tr wipe off your lipstick 14 times in a day and reapply so the color I love I think it's gorgeous the um, texture or the finish on the lipstick is gorgeous as well it is a little drier so I prefer it because it's supposed to be matte um, it's definitely not an everyday color but you can get away with this every day if you wanted to especially if you work at Hot Topic or something <laughs> But the color is actually really nice. I would def I would wear it with this look just because I have the purple under there. I think it complements this look really well, actually. I'm not really sure if this was a review or a swatch or what it was. I just wanted to give my honest opinions on these lipsticks because I am a Fenty fanatic. <laughs> and so I just wanted to do this video and show you guys all the colors and how they look on my skin. And hopefully you found or you saw a color that you liked on me and you're, you're gonna like it on yourself. What I will say about these lipsticks is that the color range was so random and so wide that I feel like anybody can find a shade and I think that's pretty much Fenty's goal or that pretty much has been Fenty's goal from the beginning. So they did a good job on picking the colors for this because there's a little bit of something for everybody. There's people that like bold colors, there's people that like neutral colors, muted down colors, um, and you know all the shades in between so I feel like it's not really missing anything in terms of a color a black would have been nice but this will do <laughs> and also I think because they have the staple red color in there like there's not really much else you could ask for I feel like a lighter pink color might be a good suggestion but when they released the galaxy collection there was a pink shade in there so yeah I'm excited to see what else Fenty has in store you guys know I will definitely be copying but yeah I love you all and tell me what your favorite shade was in the comment section below I will definitely see you in the next one